What's up, YouTube? Here at Aldi today in Spartanburg, South Carolina. It's Blackstock Road in Spartanburg, South Carolina. And let me tell you about the little scam they have today. So I went in there earlier to buy some eggs. And you can see they tried charging me $4.45 a piece for pasture raised eggs. These were the eggs I got. These were listed for $2.99. Now they're trying to tell me there's two different versions of these eggs. Well, they're labeled exactly the same, same color, the same words, the same sizes, the same weights, the same everything. Okay? I've been buying eggs here at Aldi, at this Aldi for the last five years. Every single week, I buy two or three dozen. So these eggs wouldn't ring up barcode wouldn't scan. They said, oh, we've been having this problem today. So they get somebody to go back and they give them some erroneous barcode. And that is where the 445 came up. And I said, no, that's not right. We had a big argument, come back. And the guy is either incredibly incompetent or he's trying to cover up their little price gouge scam that they're running on people because those cheap brown eggs are not coming up in the system. So instead, they hit them for the most expensive ones they have. That's not right. Uh, so I didn't notice all these. I wasn't going to come back up here today. I wasn't going to deal with this. But I noticed they didn't refund me one of the eggs that I didn't buy. So they only refunded me for three instead of four. So, well, now I got to go back up. I said, well, now I'm going to make a video. And now I'm going to give them grief. And if they don't make it right, I'll, I'll put a video out. This is not the sort of thing that I normally do. So uh, the manager was more professional, but he was very argumentative right off the rip. Wanted to tell me, oh no, somebody could have put those, somebody could have put those in that spot. And I said, sir, if the eggs that I got were in the wrong spot, then they're currently still in the wrong spot because they're the same eggs. No, no, these aren't in the wrong spot. I said, those are the exact eggs that I got. And round and round we went. So finally, he says, no, 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 those eggs are $2.99. No. I said, well, then I'll take four of them. I'm not trying to get something for nothing. I'm trying to get something for the exact price that it should be. So I go up there and I have my receipt that needs to be refunded from the other thing. I got my four dozen eggs. I get up to the register. He has slipped the cashier a number to punch in for the eggs. Why? If it was a different egg that wasn't ringing up. See, here's my thing. If it was the 445 eggs that weren't ringing up and these aren't ringing up, why where, there's a disconnect somewhere so i asked her hey can you ring will these will these scan before he, the manager showed back up at the check stand and she tried to scan it and it would not scan and he got upset with her that's why i gave you that number they're not gonna scan just punch a number in oh okay that kind of further confirms what i was thinking i said so is it all your eggs that aren't scanning today or just these oh well you know it's it's these particular eggs I said, but here's my thing if if these eggs are the only ones that are not scanning, then doesn't that tell you they're the same egg as the 299 ones that I'm just getting now? So what he was doing is trying to make me happy and trying to cover up their mistake. So all these Spartanburg, South Carolina, East Blackstock Road, y'all got problems and you need to fix it because that was the second manager. At least he was half decent to me at the end. You know, I wasn't going to put a video out blasting them, but they're still trying to cover stuff up. And he's still trying to like nicely give me the same rigmarole as we're going along, the same BS. Ain't happening, man. Watch, watch the register. Watch what your stuff is ringing up for. Watch what you're paying for because they will be happy to screw you. They have no customer service. Even if the things were in the wrong place, they had no interest in giving me the product for the advertised price at all. Not even a little bit, neither of the managers until he decided, oh, this one's in the wrong place. And he sell the expensive, the cheap eggs in the expensive spot, not the other way around. So they got problems. I mean, I've been a loyal customer of this place for five years. Even when I walk in and there's mice strolling out like there's the thing to do, I still go in and do my grocery shop in there. Even when there's cockroaches, I still go in and do my grocery shop in there. You know, things are just too expensive to be spending high dollar on, on the same thing. So we, you know, we got to make ends meet. And then these people are trying to screw us over in the process and are either, they're hoping we're too stupid as a consumer or 
we just don't care. And you know what? I got time and I care. I'm going to make a big deal of it. So this is what it is. I was going to make a video in store, but I'm not, I'm not going through all that. It's incredibly crowded. I don't want to get a bunch of people on camera that don't want to be on camera just because it, it's not fair to them. So, but that's their little scam. I tried to tell people who were near the egg thing, hey, watch out, they're going to get you. You know, I went through this earlier. So, whatever. I don't do these stupid videos, but I felt like I had to do this. Uh, just pay attention, people. I, I, money's not growing on trees. Everybody's struggling and making ends meet. You know, one way or another, somebody's having it hard. And just make sure you're getting what you pay for. Just pay attention to what things are ringing up for, because that's a... It's a big difference in price from one to the other, especially if you're trying, got a whole family you're trying to feed on a shoestring budget and <sighs> can't deal with this nonsense, man. So that's it. That's the end of my rant. I have some pictures of the price tags. I don't know how good they came in, uh, but I'll put them, insert them somewhere in this video too. So, all right, everybody, take it easy. Have a happy Sunday.